got mine in my truck. That all slide right out. They sting and you might want to back up. That's some mean ones. <laughs> I only got about eight stings when you dropped that board. <laughs> Sorry about that. You didn't get none, did you? Uh -uh. I got my load this morning. Careful with that hive too, my knuckles are right there. <laughs> <laughs> get this trip hazard out of the way. I keep tripping over it myself. I'm about to show you what MacGyver here came up with. <laughs> this ain't my idea. It took, it took brains to get this one. <laughs> we got a couple places that they could move. They go in that pipe. We're about to stuff the end of that. Close that little gap there. And that one with some filter material and then stuck a paint strainer on the top. We're going to vacuum up everything we can. And there's bees all the way down this tube. So with that, Taking that tube out of the ground, I thought it would have a support in it, but it don't. But without taking it out of the ground, there ain't a whole lot we can do. Except to blow repellent in there, plug that hole, and hope they run out the top. So first we're gonna apply some smoke, get them moving, and probably put some repellent in the smoker, try to drive them up into that paint strainer. Already catching a few. As far as anybody knows, this is an actual swarm and not bees off of a transport truck, but they're everywhere.
that's working pretty good if I had a lot of time and we weren't where we are I'd probably just blow repellent in that post and let them come out and settle down somewhere right now with the sun setting they won't move too much but if I did this earlier in the day they could end up anywhere so we're probably going to, have to walk the property and make sure there's not any clusters hanging on light fixtures anywhere just in case they came off a transport truck at this point we don't think they did but that's a chance you take when you put them in the air especially if it's a swarm you don't know where they're going next if you uh, they're obviously not established in this pipe you put them in the air and the queen everybody goes airborne they might leave this property but they might end up on a fuel canopy or something like that 17 foot in the air and then you're stuck then you gotta try to get them with a pole like you've probably seen me do before I wish I could make this stand up it's getting heavy and laying over ain't happening though it's just gonna have to flop hey this uh, shorty talking to you <laughs> runt dad <laughs> good news and bad news yeah bad news is not an actual swarm they are off a transport truck uh, good news is because of what they are and the sun is set we can be a little more liberal with the repellent bad news again well there is no good news <laughs> it, it's fun news for me because I get to do a video out of it but there's a big old pile <laughs> you can't see it from here no oh yeah you can the canopy. right on the tip of that canopy there's a giant <laughs> mass of bees over there We got a flat truck that we could get on top of. That would be ideal. It looks like 10 or 15 pounds of bees hanging up there. Yeah, it looks like a bunch. And you don't know what's on top. So I got to do all this with an extension pole. But I can get them tonight. I just got to go back home and get some extra equipment. Randy's opening up this filter bag and vacuuming the bees that are coming up out of this 4x4 hollow post. As they come up, he gets them in the bag and vacuum them into his vacuum cleaner. It's actually a, not a vacuum cleaner as such. It's a, it's a beehive vac. We don't want to kill the bees. Quite a lot of bees going into that sack. It's actually a Sherwin-Williams paint strainer filter trainer not a filter like back and just quit I don't know why the battery be running down there's only two removals and three swarm catches on one charge <laughs> uh, I don't know why it'd be dead. I can't imagine. <laughs> Been too busy to charge the thing. Yeah, I think indeed it's time to not be too busy. Well, at least we got them done on this one. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful little vacuum cleaner. Well, we got the whole crew out here fixing to try to get bees. I would record it for you, but you can see the lights are going to blow it out. You can't really see what's going on, so nobody's going to stand here and hold a hand over the lights. <laughs> no way to really video it, but just to get it done. We'll show you the setup, I guess. We started this one out with everything big vac. Like I said, I've run it dead. I've, run, I've done two removals and three swarm catches on it on one charge. And it's still... I can still power it up for a few seconds but it ain't gonna run long enough to do this. So we're finishing up the evening. It's like nine o'clock at night, 9.30 at night with John Nelson's no-kill honeybee vac and a whole bunch of hose and the extension pole and some duct tape. Powered vac, so we need a power supply. They need to open that shed for us. Let me find them little cord out here. Duct tape fixes everything. It does. This is a red green show of beekeeping. You don't even know what that is, do you? <laughs> it's really hard to tell from down here what we're looking at. That lip on the top of that canopy, it's just got a pile of bees hanging across it for about five feet. 
and they're pretty deep. We can't turn off. We can't turn off just one section of lights. So it's hard to see. It's hard for us to see. It's going to be almost impossible to video. So for us to see, I just went inside and bought one of these 4,000 lumen flashlights. That's what we're going to use to be able to see them. Next. My dad's going to sit on the tailgate and shine them while we work. <laughs> All right, our heroes over here figured out the lights. Appreciate it, fellas. Not a problem, brother. Not a problem. Look. It was gonna blow something up one way or another trying to get y'all safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we can work and video a little bit. Got the Guardian B apparel going on out here in the dark. Uh, of course, you don't hardly ever see me wear a suit, but when I'm vacuuming 10 or 15 pounds of bees from straight overhead, chance of clusters falling on my head in the dark in a kind of a windy situation. can uh, mess with your mind a little bit this is a rig it's just a extension uh, paint pole with hoses taped to it and a tip on it not the tip I wanted but Home Depot was closed and I don't do this often enough to keep the one that I wanted so no telling where it's at good shoulder workout with the wind blowing even without the wind blowing all that hose and that pipe and everything so we're taking turns here I do have a 21 foot ladder with me but the bottom edge of that canopy is about 20 or 21 foot so by the time you get a little bit of lean on the ladder you ain't even reaching it so we're stuck with this method and I don't own a ladder taller than that and it's the middle of the night, so we ain't getting one nowhere. I'm 15 feet from the BVAC and I can smell the alarm pheromone in the air so they, if you dropped a cluster on you it wouldn't be fun. Going pretty smooth so far, we've not knocked down more than a couple hundred bees. They're uh, staying pretty, pretty tight clustered up. It's probably 70 degrees, high 60s maybe, but it's real windy so they're kind of hanging on. And it's windier where they are than down here on the ground so they're hanging on pretty good. The back's working good though, especially in light. That's, that's the hard part right there, getting over to the edge like that. But especially in light of the hoses we got cobbled together, they're not smooth unions where they're connected. That's four, yeah, four hoses taped together. So potential for them to 
have clogs here and there, but it's pulling them on down. He's getting a little fatigued, I know he is. <laughs> the upper lip of that canopy is at about a 45 degree angle. And so they're <laughs> it's really getting difficult. Do what? Well, they get clogged up. It can. Put a better location for the camp by the flashlight. Oh yeah, now Please you got <laughs> That's how the pros do it, right? Yeah, that's right. And we're back. Two days later, we got about half as missed as picked up the first night. This is a little bit easier in the daylight. You can see what you're doing, and everybody else can kind of see what you're doing, and they stay away from you. But the bees are in the air, so you don't have as much success getting all the bees, but you do have less people walking into your workspace. And, uh, you don't have to have an extra man with a flashlight. That thing getting worse up there. Yeah, we're fixing to get them down. Hey, yeah, throw them over there. I mean, fence line in. We got them the other day. Oh, okay. cover on my head it's starting to get into my in my hair which ain't bothering me but it's hard to one hand that extension pole and pick them out of my hair while I'm working back up my head already smells like mad bees <laughs> that was the end of the truck stop footage and since I didn't shoot any type of an outro I'm gonna dip back into the video vault and go for some 2016 footage to finish this one out hope you enjoy Full of brood, full of brood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of them. Found a queen? No. There she is right there on that frame. Turn it over. Yeah. Right there. I didn't see her. I just saw her in that group right there. Right there. Oh, there she is. There's uh, a queen catcher in my. I need to catch her really. She's sure a good layer. Look at that pattern. All those frames in the bottom box mm -hmm. are the same way. Put her in that nuke. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to make two nukes up out of it, but I think I'm just going to double stack them. Was he coming? Was he coming to help you? No. Is there brood in there? No, pollen. You want to put her back in here? Uh uh. Let's get him. Let's see if there's any brood in here. Yet. I think they're just opening those cells up for her to lay in. Maybe. Pollen. See any brood there? No. Oh, 
comb, no brood. That's a foundationless yeah. comb there. It's about to fall out. I think I'll bring one of the new queens down here and put in this one. Might as well leave the one they got and put a new queen in that box there. Well, she's already established with those frames there. And... We've got Pops for a minute. He can, he can barely walk, especially out on that uneven ground. Got to carry his bee boxes for him and stuff. Some people wonder if they can keep bees because they don't have a yard. Borrow someone's yard. That's what this is. They're... Uh, there's only three boxes there now, but he's had up to six or eight out there at one time. This guy's glad to have him in his yard. <laughs>